emergency stop, as I mentioned, you can argue on different machinery, whether it's required or not. But um, what I have seen lately on the small machines, like the, the shop tools, is there is an increase in the number of citations for both anti-restart and e-stop. Um, and I, I can't explain why. My guess is that it's a little bit of the changing of uh, the guard of OSHA inspectors. You've probably seen, um, as you guys encounter inspectors, a lot of them are in their 60s, now bringing on someone in their like 20s and 30s, kind of training them up. Um, and that's happening across the industry. And so um, what I suspect is that uh, someone with not a lot of experience walks into a shop and they go to what's familiar, right? They go to the small tools because they, they, they have a little more traction. They, they, they're a little more informed of what to do with those. And so these smaller tools are getting more citations. And you can, of course, do a custom control cabinet. Um, you can actually, in some cases, do just a momentary foot switch. So OSHA has specific code clarifications where on things like a um, pipe threader, they say a momentary action foot switch can meet the needs of anti-restart and e-stop. Again, not every case, but is an interesting kind of exception um, and gets us into that like, oh, that's an easy fix. That's a low hanging fruit that we can sometimes apply. Um, if you wanna get really fancy, you can have the wireless e-stops and that freaks me out a little bit. They're real products, they exist, apparently they work. Um, and again, you can get into these uh, control panels. And what I often recommend with e-stops is depending on the um, actual piece of machinery, you can have more than one and it's normally really doesn't cost much different. For example, if you're um, a lumber company, and you're uh, using large band saws and you're often resawing, chances are there's someone on kind of the feed side and someone on the other side. And so the person kind of maybe holding and supporting material if you're um, resawing a large piece of lumber, they don't necessarily have access to turning that machine off. So if something goes wrong, they're helpless. Um, and so that, that's an easy case for just put another series e-stop on the other side of the machine. Probably cost you, $50 and you, you um, significantly reduce um, kind of the, the chance of a hazard getting really bad. And then uh, again, our product um, also um, does e-stop. 